All right, let's keep going um, and look at the next question. This question is acceleration class, extensive exercise, question number one. So write down the missing terms in each of the sequences below. So in the first sequence, we have three, nine, blank, 21, 27, blank. So we can first look at the three, nine, look at the difference between these two adjacent terms, and that gives us a difference. Let me move this bit to the right over here. And the difference between three and nine is six. So we can guess, we can assume that the pattern is we go up by six each time. And we can validate that assumption by looking at 21 and 27. So yes, we are going up by six each um, term by term. So from three to nine, we're adding six. Then from nine to the first blank, we're also adding six. Nine plus six is 15. And to check if we're correct, we can add six to the 15. And we do get 21, so all correct, no problem. And then to get the last blank, we can simply add 6 to 27, and which will give us 33. And that's the first sequence. And then let's look at the second sequence. So you see here, negative, positive, negative. So this should be positive, and then negative. So we have alter alternating science, not science, but alternating. Okay, let me uh, spell it again. Alter alternating signs yeah this is uh alternating signs so whenever we we have this that means we'll be either multiplying or dividing a negative number yeah so minus n something like that only by oh, only by doing this multiply or divide a negative number will we have this alternating signs okay so really uh obvious not, not obvious but a really common feature so next time when you see alternating signs this negative number operation the division and multiplication should come up to your mind so let's see what are we doing so obviously we are descending so that means we should be dividing instead of multiplying a number okay and so from 32 to 16 it is a two times relationship, so we're dividing by two. And since it's a negative number, so it should be divided by negative two. I'll include the bracket over here. And then from 16 to minus eight, we are also dividing, uh, divided by negative two. And then divided by negative two. We'll, fir we'll find the second blank first. So minus eight divided by minus two, and that will be positive four. And to check if our answer is correct, we can do the same operation. So plus a positive four divided by minus two will definitely give minus two. So that's correct. And then to get the first one, instead of divided by minus two, we can do multiply minus two. Okay, so I'll include an arrow because we have positive negative over here. So minus 32 times minus two gives us positive 64. And that is the, and that is the second sequence. Let's move on to the third sequence. So for, this, for the third sequence, um, we can try look at the difference first. So one and two, the difference is one. Two and six, the, the difference is four. Six and 24, the difference is um, 18. So there is no obvious pattern over here. So we won't consider addition. But still, we are going in ascending order. That means to, to become bigger each term. Apart from addition, we also have the choice of doing multiplication. So let's try multiplication. So 1 to 2, we are multiplying by 2. 2 to 6, we're multiplying by 3. three 6 to 24, we're multiplying by 4. OK, so we find the pattern now. So uh, we have an arithmetic progression that we, are, we should be multiplying. So the next term is 5. So 24 times 5 gives us 120. And to check if our answer is correct, we will do 120 times 6, which is indeed 720. So that is the correct pattern. The next step, the, the last step is just to multiply 7 to the 720. Yep, this is the correct format. 72 times 70. 
no, sorry, sorry, 720 times 7. So leave the 0 um, at, the at the end, align the 2 and the 7, okay, um, because the 0 can automatically fall down, don't need to calculate it. And then 2 times 7 is 14, uh, carry a 1 over here, 7 times 7 is 49, 49 plus 1 is 50. So it's 5040, 5040, uh, 5040, 5040. And that is the answer for the third sequence.